Extreme Quartet. I'm Victoria. And I'm Naomi. And we are going to take you on a musical adventure around the world. Where should we go today? Well, let's see. Hope is pointing at a flag. Okay. Can anybody tell me where this flag is from? Argentina! Very good. That flag is from Argentina. Amanda, can you please point in the map where Argentina is? Right, it's a pretty big country. And the style of music we're going to be learning about today is tango. Has anybody heard of tango before? No. Tango is a style of dance and music that was born in the region of Rio de la Plata, which includes the capital of Uruguay, Montevideo, and the capital of Argentina, Buenos Aires. Can you all say Buenos Aires? Buenos Aires! Very good. Buenos Aires is also the capital of tango. Now, tango is typically played by different instruments. The violin, which is the instrument that I like to play, the piano, the bass, and a very unique instrument called the bandoneon. Can you say bandoneon? Bandoneon! Yes. The bandoneon is a very cool instrument that belongs to the accordion family which produces sound using bellows that pump air through a reed. Now, it doesn't have keys like the accordion. The bandoneon has buttons instead. Each one of these buttons will produce two musical notes, one when we open the bellows and one when we close it. It sounds similar to a harmonica or a church organ, but the bandoneon has definitely its own special unique sound. Now, tango originated as a dance. This means the dance came first, and the musicians imitated the steps of the dancers using the sounds of their instruments. So, the rhythms of tango are just as important as the instruments themselves. So Naomi, would you like to dance with me so we can show them how these steps come about? Okay. All right, let's do it. I will try. So, the most important thing about tango rhythm is that there are four beats. And one and three are strong beats, and two and four are very weak. So if we're counting them, we're saying un, dos, tres, cuatro, un, dos, tres, cuatro. Okay? Now, the dancing is always kind of in a mirror, as if we were doing a mirroring image. That's a good image. Right? Very good. So with that, that's what our legs are going to do. So check it out. Ready? And go. One. like our dancing? Yeah. Very good, excellent. Now, I would like to have two volunteers to do this. Let's see who wants to dance. Oh, you come over here, my first dancer. All right, let's see the second dancer. I'm gonna look for, oh, I found him, come on. Come on in, yeah, come on up. Good, now, to make it more authentic, we are going to be using some extremely cool tango hats. Okay, Naomi, can you bring us some? So then the four of us are going to be wearing these, even though they're a little bit small. Ooh, look how cool those look. Do we look cool or what? Yes, we do. I need you guys to stand in front of each other. Good. Can you put your hands in each other's shoulders? There we go. That's good. Now can you hold hands? Beautiful. Okay. All right. And go. Step in. Step out. by a very, very beautiful singer and songwriter. His name is Carlos Gardel. And you can see, he's also wearing the hat. Very good. Now, I want everybody to turn their listening ears on. Can I see the listening ears on? Very good. And we're going to listen to A Tango by Gardel. It's called Por Una Cabeza. Thank you. 
job on being such a good audience. So now you know about Argentina and you know about tango. Thank you for joining us and please make sure you come with us in our next musical adventure around the world with Gaia String Quartet. Adios! Adios.